So we have pieces of paper, and these pieces of paper are of different sizes and colors. You have red to symbolize a cation, and blue to symbolize an anion, and you can take them, and you can stack them, like so-ish, if you can kind of tell. And you can use these to determine chemical formulas by figuring out how they would uh, neutralize each other's charges. Good. Now you did a lab. Tell me about the lab you did. That was a very fun lab. So we have these papers here, and they all have these different uh, combinations, and all we had to do is we had to find the correct combinations in here and put them together. And once we could do that, we could determine the number of cations, anions, the total positive and negative charges, what the formula was, and then what you would call it. Now tell me about the lab, and how does the lab relate to this activity? The lab we did downstairs? Yep. That one. Oh, okay. So that lab, we had uh, multiple different chemicals. We had uh, sulfates, we had carbonate, uh, chlorine, copper, and we had them in small bottles, and we would react them in some micro plates. And if we had a reaction, we would mark that down on our chart, and if we didn't have a reaction, we'd mark that down on our chart. And then we named, uh, we've gone through written the formulas for all of the reactions we made uh, by using these little papers to figure out what the correct uh, formulas would be. So then how does the lab relate to this activity? By demonstrating which chemicals will bond with others by their ionic bond structures of the charges. I'm not good at explaining that. Yeah. That's okay. So you had little bottles that had cations and little bottles that had anions. And these would create ionic bonds. And which ones do you name? The ones that reacted? Exactly.